and I'm back fully stocked up on everything I'm gonna need potion twos magic waters potion threes actually got nine of those recoveries I might have to use one of those eventually they're like an elixir in this game full MP and HP restoration a uh, bottle of agility's got eight uh, vacuums actually have nine um, I did equip Valsu with the Ice Cloak. It's pretty much the exact same thing as the Fire Cloak uh, in terms of defense, but of course the Fire Cloak protects you from fire spells and the Ice Cloak protects you against uh, ice spells. Uh, Harp, Mirror, all stocked up. Alright, so we're on our way because this is going to be quite a journey. We are headed to the town of Pandem. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is following the coast. Uh, and getting in fights along the way. The enemies here aren't too tough. You know, they're they're pretty much the standard enemies that I've been facing the entire time. Uh, pretty much the same enemies I've faced uh, at least the, the, the past couple trips. Um, just that if I remember correctly, this is quite a journey, uh, but I could be mistaken. It was some other one that I have to make eventually. I must be confusing this with a different um, route because I'm starting to get encounters with just two mantas on it and that is not tough. Uh, Valsu did level up, he is now level 29 and Necro is of course level 30 still and there is our next destination so I was confusing this with a different um, different journey and this one was rather easy and we make it to the town of Pandem the biggest port town on the continent uh, this is actually a town that you probably could have gotten to earlier and you might have gotten to earlier if you played a different character um, from what I've seen um, I don't know this for a fact uh, well he gives us directions to build them what I was saying was huh so already we're talking about the dark world ooh the light rune what's that not gonna tell me huh um, from what I've seen because of course I haven't played the game uh, before this is the first time that I've seen it but um, I have well, the first time that I've played it I have been watching a couple other playthroughs let's plays uh, to try to figure out exactly what the best course of action is there are Wow, I just went in the same building. There are a couple different ways to play the game, um, depending on which person that you picked uh, to start the game. And here we do find the inn. I didn't see a marker on it, but if you look in the southwest corner, you can get a ring, which is absolutely awesome. And I want to equip that on uh, Valsu immediately. Looking at it, uh, it gives him 20 defense. That is just as good as the armor that he's got. That is definitely the best thing that he can have up to this point. That is awesome. Of course, Necro apparently can't wear rings. His fingers are too beefy or whatever. Uh, but we're, yeah, what I was saying is that if you went to a... Uh, w or if you picked a different apprentice, it seems like... A, a couple changes can be made in terms of what um, in terms of uh, of what the plot does for you, what towns you visit, and in what order. That is why we're finding quite a few uh, NPCs that are giving us, you know, backwards directions. They're like, "Oh, welcome to this town. Do you need to find the way to the town that you just came from?" And I'm kind of like. No, dude. That, uh, what are you talking about? That's because of the different play styles. You know, if you play as Lux or Olven, you might have a different route to take. Uh, let's check out, see if there's anything new in the armor shop now that we've upgraded Valsu's awesome uh, accessory, I guess it, it would be called. Um, he does have a victory. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is. Oh, that is not worth it, uh, because the um, the cloaks that he's wearing right now do give um, defense to the to the magic spell. So just a, an additional one physical defense does not seem worth it to me. If you guys want to spend the money on that, feel free to. Though, what is up, um, Spalsu? Do you have anything new for him? No, he has a conf. That's that's worse, isn't it? 
That's worse than the last place I went. They had like a Brill that cost 4000 and this was only 2500 What is going on? Alright, so moving on into this little town that we get here, we get a basement. Ooh, I love basements. It means that somebody put some thought into this building. I just came from Brush. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I believe if you play as Olvan, it could be Lux though, that, or even Asuna, you know, that you'll have to go this route instead of the route we went to B lane and T lane, and they'll go west around the continent that way. Um, so you would go from here to Brush, but that is not the way we went uh, because we're awesome and we wanted to get the Moon Rune. Uh, the Light Rune is good, I won't even deny the light rune. I do know doubles uh, magic power, which also means that it doubles magic defense because there's only one. Um, ooh, diamonds! There's only one stat for for just plain old magic, and it goes back. Uh, it goes for attack and defense. There's really nothing in this item shop that I want. Although there are diamonds, but I don't really care about the jewelry anymore. If you guys do care, uh, feel free to get the, the diamonds uh, so that you can protect yourself from losing all that money. Ah, you're happy. I didn't hear thank you though, jerk. That is a huge house of healing with three little logos on it. And there's nothing in here. What is with these huge houses of healing? What's up? Uh, whatever. I talked to you. Alright, that looks like it's it for this little town. There's the, the, the slab up there, way up there. Not even over the building. Uh, so once again, I'm gonna heal up. I'm not sure if I actually took any damage, but I'm gonna heal up anyways, and I'll meet you outside of town. And I'm back, and it just occurred to me that I never talked to this dude. And he offers to take you on a ship to Bonro. Uh, no, I don't want to take the ship. I have a wind rune. Which kicks the ass of whatever you got. What, it's a ship? Oh man, that sounds rocky. I can just teleport. It's a uh, it's much safer way to travel. Unless, of course, it screws everything up. Um, so we are going to go for the town, the castle of Bill, sorry, Bill Them. Um, I, I swear I said it right the first time. Yeah, no, I didn't. Um, I'm still amazed, actually, when I go to all these towns. The, the inns are incredibly cheap. You know, the one I went to right there only cost 24 gold, and the last battle I s fought, which was really easy, was... Um, well, it gave me about 300 gold, so off one battle I can go to the inn like 10 times. Alright, so we're going north, and we're going to be able to get to a castle eventually. Yeah, that battle gave me exactly 320 gold, so one battle will give me enough gold to stay at the inn 10 times. That seems a little outrageous to me. But then again, there are a lot of balance issues that are wrong in this game, and I I should be... I'm. St Yes, there we go. I was scared for a second that I went up the wrong path, but I don't think there is another path. 